Hello, I'm Yan, your friend from Canada. As more people are losing their jobs amid COVID-19, what shall we assume the immigration policy will be like after the pandemic? This story was from CIC News, published on June 22, 2020, written by Karen. Here is an adaption from the original story. In late February and early March of 2020, Canada's Immigration Minister Marco declared that the country will need more immigrants to support its economy. Back then, COVID-19 was an afterthought. As the country is taking measures to contain the virus, its economy has been bettered and unemployment rate is rising. Some Canadians are apprehensive that immigrants may threaten their jobs, while others believe that immigrants may create more jobs. The two groups of people are entrenched in their corners. Now let's look at the words. Our first word is afterthought. This is a noun, which means something done or said after other things, because it was not thought of earlier. For example, studying abroad was an afterthought for Tom, because he didn't think he could make it just some years ago. And in this new story, we could see that the immigration minister didn't expect the impact of COVID-19 when he made that announcement. Our second word is better. Better is a verb, which means to beat heavily and repeatedly. For example, the snake was spotted near the tent and battered in the head. The economy was battered. In other words, the economy was harmed a lot. Our third word would be apprehensive. This is an adjective which means afraid that something bad is going to happen. For example, Tom felt apprehensive about giving a public talk. The verb form is apprehend, which means to arrest someone such as a criminal or to notice something. For example, Tom totally apprehended what it could cost him to study abroad. And in this story, some Canadians apprehended the impact the immigrants could make on the job market. So these people were aware of the impact. Last but not least, we have the word entrench. Entrench is a verb, which means to place something in a very strong position. So the people who are entrenched in a place would not be easily moved from that place. You could entrench a belief in another person's mind to make him firmly believe something. You could also entrench yourself in an activity so that you're engaged in that activity. The two groups of people are very convinced of their assumptions. They're entrenched. Okay, these are the four words we learned. Hope you continue trying. Never give up your dream. See you next time. God bless.